continue our adventure with King Graham. If you've been watching, King Graham has entered Castle Kaldor. He's going to to achieve the Death Gem, but he has to get it from the somehow. Um, he has to get away from Ka from Count Kaldor, the vampire. Let's see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna examine our area here. The Great Hall of the Castle is a large room, quite regal in appearance, even in its simplicity. Mm -hmm. You can imagine that, in days long since past, this would serve as an impressive welcome area to guests and visitors. You suspect that such a grand entrance would be experienced by few, if any, nowadays. Let's look at the area. You admire the twin chandeliers. You decide that you simply must have replicas made for your own throne room someday. Indeed, they're beautiful. I like to have them just like them. A grand staircase runs up the right side of the Great Hall. A grand staircase runs up the left side of the Great Hall. A grand... Uh, let's go upstairs. See what we can find up there. Alright, what's this place? Tattered red velvet curtains hang either side of the northern room. It is a long dining table completely covered with dust. Scratches scar the legs of the table. Okay. The northern arch opens into a room beyond. You cannot discern any details, though. What's in the room beyond? This is just a small storage room. Rows of red wine barrels <clears throat> are neatly stacked and piled wine along barrels, the wall. Wine barrels, right. At least you think sure. they contain wine. Yeah, Seeing right. Seeing nothing else of real importance, you head back into the dining room. Is there anything else in this, this direction? The stairway beyond appears to lead down into the dark depths of the castle. Okay. Okay, this is spooky. A foul stench wafts up from the gloomy darkness into which the stairs descend. Let's save our progress here. <clears throat> uh... Descending stairs. Alright, I'll save that progress. The staircase beyond is very dark. It would be much too dangerous to proceed down without a light of some kind. All right, we need a light. Do we have a candle? The candle is unlit. All right, let's see if we can light it up. I guess we don't have anything to light it up with. Or do we? How about this candle here? Can we... On the chandelier? You can't use that there. It's too high up. We can't light it up there. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, it's on the left side. Okay, whoa, whoa. What's this? An old shovel rests against the stone wall. It looks well used. Could I use that, st that shovel? Let's see. You take the shovel into your possession. Let's look at it. Examine it some more. The shovel has a wooden handle with a thick metal spade on the end. <clears throat> All right. Uh, feel it up a bit? It is of a reasonably proportionate weight. All right, let's see our progress. This shovel. here narrow stairs ascend into a room above there's little light here to see by okay a torch has been mounted to the wall here it does little to cheer up the place even when lit all right can I light my candle with that torch uh, You hold your candle up to the blazing torch. Of course. It catches. Your candle is now lit. Nice. 
The wax candle burns brightly. Hot wax drips onto your finger. Ouch! You attempt to mold the candle into a wax miniature. Alright, so we got a candle now. Let's save our progress. Lit candle. Lit candle. Nice. Let's continue on. Go upstairs. Maybe we get something else of value up here. <clears throat> What's this? What's this? The window looks out onto the island far below. Through it, you see that the bricks of the castle might provide some footholds if you are inclined to go climbing. Why would I want to climb? You are not desperate enough to climb out the window. You can exit through the front door. Yeah, I thought so. Like, why would I want to escape right now? Through the window. Kind of dumb. But at least I've got a candle! Which is great, because I can go, outside, go downstairs. But let's explore a little bit more. The fireplace looks as if it has not been used in quite a long time. You shudder, both from the cold and from the thought that the resident likely has no need of a warm house. There is no wood, and as such, you cannot start a fire. All right, what's this? Some barrels? barrels and boxes have been stacked here. You presume they are just storage containers, nothing to be concerned about. Let's look at those pictures. It's a very big house. I the portraits house on the like wall that. depict the couple who once lived here. They look young and proud. Behind the mask of apathy that comes with aristocracy, there's a certain kindness in their eyes. Hmm. The portraits on the... As What's you peer place? down the hallway, you see numerous doors on either side, all locked, most likely. At the far end, the corridor appears to open into another room. All right, let's look at... Let's, let's investigate that. <clears throat> What's down here? Oh, a nice library. Three candelabras provide some welcome illumination in this otherwise dark and dismal castle. This marble bust must be of a past count. While it has some resemblance mm. to the current one, the face looks markedly different from that of the town statue. Oh, I'd love to have a library like this. This bookcase appears to recount the entire family history of the past counts of Kalima. The line apparently dates back many, many centuries. These books pertain to the ever-expanding world of science. As you skim over the titles, mm. you see one that says, Evidence of a Spherical World. Wow. You shake your head. What will they think of next? Yeah, exactly. All those flat earthers must be upset. <clears throat> this would appear to be the classic fiction section. It is a collection of literature dealing with the arrival of the first mages mm. and what became of their descendants, who were and are all mages themselves. Evidently, the Count must be one such descendant, hence his apparent interest in the subject. Interesting. Science has always been a controversial subject in your mind. You'd rather hang on to the perception of the world that you were brought up with. You have okay. no interest in any of these books right now. Even though you would like to read up on how Daventry's own first king arrived with the others of his kind, you have more important things to do right now. Even though you would like to read... Even though you would like to, you are not interested in a family history lesson. Perhaps enough. Nothing else here. Yeah, nothing else here. Let's move on. All right, nowhere else to go but right, right staircase. We got our candle. We can go descend into the basement. Let's go, guys. Descend into the now basement. Now that you have a lit candle, it's a bit easier to see where you're going. Indeed. Whoa, where are we going? Here. Due to heavy condensation, the stairs are damp and very difficult to walk on. Beyond the arch, you can barely see a room with a vague shape sitting at the center of it. I have a feeling I know what it is. Here we go. What is this? 
A raised stone dais has been built for the sole purpose of keeping the coffin off the ground. Hmm. Presumably, this makes it easier for the coffin's occupant to climb in and out. The thought gives you the shivers. There is a beautiful, ornate coffin to one side of this eerie room. Mm. Dust is everywhere, cobwebs fill the corners, and a sickly odor permeates the air. Let's save our progress as... Coffin. The torch helps very little to illuminate this damp and dimly lit room. You are loath to touch anything in this room. All right, uh, let's touch the coffin. The thick black cloak that you are wearing hampers your efforts to lift the coffin lid. Try removing the cloak first. All right, remove the cloak. The black cloak is a fine garment. It feels thick and warm. The inside is lined with red satin. Alright, remove it. You remove the black cloak again. Alright. Here we go. Oh, where that rat came from? Phew, that's creepy. Alright. Save progress, here we go. Nervously, you lift the heavy lid of the elegant coffin. Okay.